Hey there, and welcome to I Can, I Am, I Will, the world's number one podcast for confidence and self-empowerment. The past two episodes, we talked about the podcast and what you can expect and why this podcast was created to help you build your confidence and self-empowerment. We are going to continue that conversation today, and then tomorrow, we are going to jump into more concepts that will help you to build your confidence and help you feel empowered. My name is Lindsay. I am a confidence and self-empowerment coach, and here together, we are going to build your confidence and help you feel more empowered. Before we begin, do not forget to subscribe, hit that button. You can also find transcripts of episodes on my website, canmwill.com, and you can contact me at canmwill.com at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. Did anything resonate with you? I got a message from someone that said that something that I said on the podcast really helped them gain perspective and it helped them to move forward in an area where they felt stuck. I love hearing back from you. So please feel free. Do not hesitate to reach out. Okay, here we go. So today I wanted to talk about the podcast and just close up the past three days. We were talking about the podcast. I talked about my story and how I built my confidence and how I love empowering others. And that is what we are here to do. Another thing that I wanted to do with the podcast was to show you a a person, a, a real person doing something new for the first time. Podcasting is not something that I've ever done before. I'm learning. And right now I am looking into my, uh, my comp- on my computer, I have a camera. I'm looking into the camera and I'm talking to the camera because I am now video recording the podcast. I started doing that a couple episodes ago. And when I was recording them, I was kind of like looking down or looking away from the video. And now I am looking at the camera. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I can tell you it feels hella uncomfortable (laughs) because I've never done this before. And I want you to know that there are people out there like you yourself who you're learning these new concepts and you're learning these new topics and you're trying to build your confidence and it can feel uncomfortable. But when you do those things, when you push forward and when you get out of your comfort zone is when you're really building that confidence. So we talked about that in episode one, and I think it was like episode 25 about how, or in the episode about fake it till you make it, about how you build your confidence while you're doing something. You don't do something and then automatically get given confidence at the end. So I'm building my confidence in creating podcasts. Uh, Now it's going into videos, and I want to show you that in real time while you're building your confidence, we are literally in this together. And I'm focused on building my confidence towards doing this podcast and getting better at doing podcasts while you could be building your confidence at work or in your personal life or just feeling confident within yourself just in general. So we really are working on this together. And that is what I wanted this podcast to be, an encouraging environment. When I first started looking in to podcasts, I noticed some trends in the like top podcasts, a lot of them were like murder mysteries. And I love murder mysteries. I really do. But a lot of that, like if you focus on murder a lot, it's going to increase your anxiety or make you feel anxious. And even the show itself is created to make you feel anxious with like the suspenseful music or like the talk clicking or any of that like extra background noise can actually be making you feel more anxious. And then there were a few that were about sex. And the podcast were focused on talking about sexual topics, their sexual nature. And they really, I feel like they get listeners because of that like wow factor. And they're talking about sex and that's like a topic that can be considered taboo to openly talk about. So I get that. We have like murder and sex. I wanted to give you a wholesome podcast, something wholesome, something encouraging and something real. There are encouraging things out there, but a lot of them are just empty platitudes. I wanted to actually give you the know-how, 
how to do this, how to build your confidence, how to get empowered. And I wanted to encourage you. I wanted to help you to give yourself permission to get unstuck and do the things that you want to do. And I wanted you to have that wholesomeness and know that there are people out there that genuinely care and want you to do well. That's something that took a lot of time for me to learn and figure out. And if someone told me that they wanted me to do well or that they were like rooting for me, I would think like, what is their motive? What are they getting out of it? And I'll tell you right now, what I get out of this is it feels really good. It's my passion. I love doing it. And someone helped me to build my confidence. And now I want to help you. And when I was building my confidence, when I was looking into building my self-esteem and to overcoming a lot of obstacles, a lot of times there were advertisements and pop-ups and people asking me to sign up for their newsletter when really like I just wanted to get to like the fucking article (laughs) and like read about the topic that I wanted to read about. And that's what I'm not doing like advertisements. And if you go to my website, like there won't be any pop ups. If you email me, like I won't, you won't be added to my newsletter. I have a newsletter. If you want to be added to it, you will find the button on the website. Like I have faith in you. I know that you can find it. It's right there. (laughs) And I wanted you to have that experience. Someone that genuinely wants you to succeed because your success makes them happy and that we can build a community of people that are working to better themselves in a wholesome environment. There's so much going on out there. It can feel so heavy. Watching the news can make you feel like you're going insane and that the whole world is going to end in a day. And I wanted you to have these 10 minutes every day to listen to someone who genuinely cares. Another thing about that is when I was building my confidence, I realized that this environment, this culture does not cultivate confidence. It's not if we're talking like an analogy about soil. It doesn't have soil that will help us to grow our confidence. And that's really how I started to build my confidence was because I just got so fed up. I just got so tired of focusing on what other people were thinking. And then living in a culture where they were, I was being encouraged to focus on things I couldn't control. I was being encouraged to worry if someone thought I looked good or if someone thought this or that about me. And I just got so tired of it that I started questioning that. And I got so tired of hearing that emotions were weakness when they're not. And I just got so exhausted from hearing about that, that I started questioning it. So this environment, not cultivating confidence, helped me in a way because it pushed me to the point where I had to just reject the limiting beliefs in society. But like, if you haven't gotten to that point, if you haven't been pushed to that extreme, you might not have realized that yet. And I don't want you to have to have to go to that extreme or reach that place in order for you to make change. You can make it now. You do not need to hit that extreme. You can just realize like, wow, like what she's saying is true. Like this culture does not really encourage me to be confident. And there's a lot that's going against the, the average person, every person, negative influences, limiting belief, external narratives, people trying to define us. There's so much going on. And that's why I wanted you to have this place. So when you're out there and you're doing something and maybe someone says something negative to you, like someone said to me when I was in a writing group, they said that they thought that no one would ever read my writing, which I proved them wrong. (laughs) But they thought that. And when I was trying to start writing, I was not that confident in it. And it could have had the power to bring me down. And it did for like a couple weeks. I stopped writing for a couple weeks. And then I have people that encourage me and I want you to hear the sound of my voice, to have 10 minutes a day, to hear a concept about building confidence. So then when you're out in, I call it like in the field, when you're out in the field, in the world, and maybe someone tries to like neg you or says something negatively about you, you can like take that in. But then you can also like remember the sound of my voice, remember the saying, I can, I am, I will. And remind yourself that that momentary feeling of someone putting you down does not define who you are and that you can, you are, you will. And that there is someone out there who genuinely cares. I care about you. 
I know that you're valuable. I know that you're worthy and I'm going to care about you so then you can care about yourself. And then once you find your worth and know that you are deserving and worthy, you are going to build your confidence and then you are going to help encourage others just by living authentically. We're going to change the world, y'all. And one last thing before we get to our affirmations, the concepts that I choose for this podcast are concepts that have helped me out. There are things that I've learned that I've read about. I read a lot um, of books anywhere from like newer books, Eckhart Tolle, uh, Ram Dass, and then also I would read uh, Descartes, Tree, different like philosophers. Um, and then there's one, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but he talks about questioning even like the the, the philosophers and like the ancient um philosophers and just beliefs that come out from them. So I read that in a mind frame that I know what they say has value, but I'm also allowed to question it and not allow it to limit me. And all of this with my certain perception for my life has turned into uh, what we have here and the concepts that I'm choosing to talk to you about. And if you want to hear about something or if you have any questions, again, reach out to me, kenmwill at gmail.com. All right, we're going over, so I'm going to stop here, and we're going to end with our I affirming statements. You can say them with me. You cannot. You can do whatever you want. Are you ready? I can. I am. I will. Have a good day.